Hey everybody, happy Monday. So my day's just about over. I'm just getting ready to go to dinner. It's almost 6.30. It's another beautiful sunset here. We um, had our usual day. We did all our assessments this morning. Plank, ab hold, wall sit, and then one minute intervals on the treadmill. And um, yeah, it was just kind of a rough morning after all of that we went over to the gym and um, I started to kind of wake up a little bit and was knocking out all my interval sets and boot camp and the squat sit up push up burpee set of three um, all of a sudden I just was super charged up um, Jordan was not timing it so we were kind of all Hoping for times. Sorry, I'm a little wobbly. Um, I did it last week in 14. I was just trying to get to 12. He thought this week was lower than that. So, But it felt really good. It felt really strong. Um, I just kind of muddled through the morning, I think, because of the weight thing again. I'm still only down two pounds, um, which is really discouraging. But the math, um, I had Lee explain it to me, and it's confusing, but I understand the numbers. But if, if you take my total 4.6 pounds of you know weight loss like on the scale then you take the 2.6 pounds of water that i'm up which is good because i need it i mean my skin i know i look really red i'm like why am i so red um but i'm not so i don't know what's going on with my color but um the let's see 2.6 of water and then there was another 2.8 of muscle which in two weeks apparently is crazy so I'm putting on a ton of muscle um, and if you add all that up it's like nine point something so I'm, I'm super close to 10 pounds overall now you know you step on the scale you don't go oh my god I lost 10 pounds in two weeks but there's something to all of those other equations so it made me feel a little better I am absolutely down a full size like I am in medium athletic workout pants which doesn't happen um i'm probably a 36b bra from a 38d so some of that could be boob and some could be back um i definitely don't have the back back fat i hate to say it oh, the back fat thing um i can see it like in different mirrors at different angles i get in the elevator and i go oh, hey where'd that go um i feel super solid i have a waist I don't know. It just, I'm definitely changing the shape of my body. My shoulders and arms are starting to get super defined, which I'm like, oh, that looks familiar. It's nice to see that again, you know. So I can see why there's that transition into three weeks, but they don't want you to just come for a week and go home. Um, in theory, if I go home and don't stay hydrated, now granted, five liters a day might be a bit much, but if I can stay with three. Um, there'll be another couple pounds of weight loss right there just in water. So, you know, it's it's really hard not to get wrapped up in the numbers. I was feeling really, really discouraged, but I can't argue with what I'm seeing in the mirror and how I feel and the fact that, like, today's hike was the same hike we did on the very first day. And the one I got lost and left on. <laughs> so I got to do the whole trail today. I actually made it to the top of the trail, to the lookout. Um, which I don't know. I didn't even know was feasible. So we, did, I think it was, was that four miles? Yeah. Four miles in like an hour and a half. Um, and so that was hauling. So maybe I'm a little more adjusted to the altitude. Clearly I'm getting stronger cardio wise, that's, which makes me feel really good. That's my big concern. There's part of me that's super concerned about the weight as just a number. And then my inactivity over the years, um, with my, heart health and so now the fact that I'm sleeping um you know eating better exercising I'm definitely feeling it and it feels pretty good so yeah nothing nothing crazy just the usual and um it's some of these exercises and you go through these circuits you're like oh, it's the last time I have to do this so it's kind of motivating I'm super excited that Mike's coming on Saturday morning we're either going to go up to snowbird and hike and take a yoga class or something and hang out up there for the day or we're going to go stand up paddling at um, 
Jordan Lake, which I'm, of course, parcel to Jordan. But, yeah, the thing that came up today on the trail that I'm noticing is that, like, last week we played, we did a 5K run, and then we played dodgeball in the park. On the rec center day, everybody went to um, play tennis or swim, and there's a lot of... Um, as we're kind of ramping down later in the week, it's interesting to do like the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday thing. And there's, there's like some game time and it's fun. Like we're playing knockout, which I'd never heard of, which is a basketball game. Um, we played racquetball the other day, which is just silly. We're just chasing the ball around and laughing our butts off. And it just feels nice to be silly and laugh. And it's not so serious. I mean, come on, you know, this is, this whole thing's supposed to be fun, but when you're in all that circuit training, you're so concentrated on that moment for that next minute or two minutes or three minutes or my next set or my next circuit. And then so to have some time to kind of peel off later with the group and just laugh, it's I can absolutely see like it bringing out the kids in these adults. And I see it in myself, but, you know, like to see it on someone else's face is an entirely different experience. And you know, you've got people in their 60s and they're here with their siblings and they're playing like little kids. And it's just, it's so heartwarming. So I like that I'm feeling like I need to get on play some more. It's not just always a hike or a workout. Like, you know, we need to go do something silly and fun. And um, I'm excited and anxious about coming home, um, about maintaining it. I mean, clearly I'm not going to work out six hours, eight hours a day. But the idea that... Um, I can go out and go paddling for a couple hours. I got a couple hours, right? Um, the kayaks, you know, we have that Nana's beach with, I mean, there's, there's lots of options and I've, I guess in these last, you know, five years, just kind of sequestered myself away. Um, initially under the idea that I was trying to do the right thing for the family, um, which then caused a lot of bitterness and resentment, um, but I forgot how to have fun at the end of the day that all of it, like I just forgot to have how to have fun. And there was always something else to do and it's cleaning or cooking or an errand or, and we don't give ourselves the same priority as all the stuff that we're supposed to do, especially as moms, I think. So th that's been coming up a lot and it just feels good to, I guess I'm just not going to take myself so seriously. I mean, who cares if the house is dirty and the laundry's not done, right? Isn't that, you know, I'm supposed to get out with the girls and go for a hike and play and all those things. So I'm excited to get home and share some of that with them. It's been far too long since I've had fun in that capacity. <laughs> we have fun in all kinds of other ways that probably led me to be here in the first place. <laughs> so I have to clean up my fun act, people. Brace yourself. All right. So, but anyway, overall a good day. Um, like I said, this is, you know, my last week, I got to kind of crank to it and Saturday I'll have, um, measurements before and after photos. I might do another bikini post for you on Wednesday. We'll see. I don't know. I'm feeling really good. So anyway, I'm going to go have dinner now and, um, I can't wait to see you all very, very soon. All right. Thanks. See you later.